and welcome to a tutorial related to available resources for flood diversion reporting as part of Executive Order N-423. This Executive Order reporting is administered by the California State Water Resources Control Board. And this tutorial is to highlight some available online resources that might be helpful when determining GPS coordinates for points of diversion, parcel information such as numbers and acres, groundwater sustainability agency information, and the ability to create summary maps. Where you can go to get more information is the California Natural Resource Agency Open Data Platform with the link shown on the slide. And there is a link to the California Department of Water Resources Sigma Data Viewer, which will be the topic of this tutorial. So this is a look at the State Water Resources Control Board webpage related to this governor's executive order for flood diversion. This page has a number of helpful resources, such as the form that is required to be filled out, frequently asked questions, email to direct questions regarding the, the reporting, and also a link to the Department of Water Resources uh, web page that I'll be talking about in this tutorial. So if you click on the link to the DWR open data web page, it goes to the California Natural Resources Agency open data platform, and there is a page called California's Groundwater Recharge Information. This is where there's a copy of the uh, executive order for flood diversion, a link back to the State Water Resources Control Board groundwater page, a link to the Sigma data viewer that we will be talking about for the duration of this tutorial, and also a link for public questions. So if you click on the link to the Sigma data viewer, it pulls up the Department of Water Resources Sigma data viewer. This first dialog box here has some information about instructions on how to use the Sigma Data Viewer, and also the application user disclaimer. You can click OK. There's also a welcome and tour. Uh, you can click end tour. So quick orientation of the Sigma Data Viewer. This, this is an online map application that has different categories of information that you can overlay um, on top of each other. So there's information related to groundwater um, and other groundwater conditions across the state, current conditions, groundwater levels, groundwater storage, water quality, land subsidence, interconnected surface water, water budget, hydrogeologic conceptual models, and reference layers. In today's tutorial related to the flood diversion executive order, the majority of the layers you'll be looking at are in this reference layer category. There's also a number of tools across the top here with uh, once layers are selected and viewed on the map, you can see what the legend for those layers that are active. There's a way to change the base map. There's also a way to look at the layers that are on the map itself. A measure tool, print tool, a drawing tool and some selection and also a XY GPS point tool. There's also an address lookup. So you can type any address in here and it'll zoom right into the area of the map that you're interested in, or you can zoom in on the map itself. We're going to zoom in along the Kings River. And I'm going to change the base map. So you can either change the base map from clicking base map and selecting the base map you want, or there's a easy button over here to just select the imagery. So you can see this is the satellite imagery for this area. So the reference layers that are applicable to this required reporting to the State Water Resource Control Board as related to this executive order 
there's the accessor parcel layer. You can click this on. Please note that if you're at a different zoom level, that you're zoomed pretty far out, that the APNs or accessor parcel layer will not show up. You have to zoom in to a certain zoom level for the layer to appear. We're also going to turn on the major rivers and creeks. So in this example, this is a hypothetical example, but the first thing we're going to look at is how to get the GPS coordinates for a point or multiple points of diversion. So in this case, if the point of diversion is off of this stream right here, you can go up and click the icon for point elevation and then come in and click where the point of diversion is. And you will get the latitude and longitude as well as an elevation, ground surface elevation for that point. The latitude and longitude is information that you're required to submit to the state board on their form. And so this is it. This information can be copy and pasted into their form. And if there are multiple, multiple uh, points of diversion, you can X out and then continue to do the same click at any point and get the latitude, longitude, and elevation. The next item that is required in the state board reporting form is the parcel numbers and acres. So with the assessor parcel layer turned on, if you click on any parcel in the map, you will get a look at the APN. So this is the number of the assessor parcel number here. And you can click on any one of those. And if you go down to the, the table here and hover over, It'll show you and highlight that parcel that you've selected in the map to make sure you've selected the right one. So in this hypothetical example, we're going to select this parcel, which is our hypothetical recharge basin to where you can get the APN information. Now to get acreages, there is a way to use the measure tool. So this is a measure tool. Uh, on the toolbar of the Sigma Data Viewer, you click on the measure tool, you click on the area icon, and you can switch this pull down menu. You click on it and you can bring up acres. And at, well, after you do that, you can click in the map and then click at each point that you're wanting to trace the area of inundation or to get acres or any other area that um, you want to get the acreage. When you're done creating the, the polygon, you double click and it'll give you the acres for that area. So in this case, just over 140 acres. The other thing you can do, and if you click out the X button, it gets rid of that polygon. And again, if you want to click on a different parcel, you can click and you'll get different parcels and be able to get the APN number. So to get groundwater sustainability agency information, you can go to a different part of the reference layer catalog up near the top under groundwater management and click on groundwater sustainability agencies. When those when that comes in, you can click anywhere in the map that is covered by a groundwater sustainability agency. And you can click that layer in the table view. And you'll get the GSA name, North Fork Kings GSA, and the contact information, the point of contact name, phone number, and point of contact email uh, in order to send information to the groundwater sustainability agencies. The final part of the tutorial will be on how to print um, a map of the area that is um, part of this flood diversion executive order reporting. There is a, a tool to draw 
and put text on the map if you'd want to do that. There's different ways, different options to draw on the map. You can use a circle. In this case, an example, you can have a circle for the point of diversion. You can add text and type in point, which will add text. And you can click on that text and move it to where you like. You can change the font size. You can change the text here, even the color. You can change the color of the text as well. And then click update when you make changes and you can click done. You can also click uh, and make a rectangle if you want to annotate where the recharge basin is or where there's flood um, inundation. And uh, you can add any type of attributes to the map. Um, you can also clear this information with these buttons here. So once you're done annotating the map the way you like it, you can. Um, click the print icon on the toolbar. That will open up a new window. You can click and drag the view to where you'd like it to be. And anything that is on the Sigma Data Viewer view that you've created, if you've put text or if you put different shapes or icons on the map, those will show up. And so then you can click print to print it out, or you can export it to a PDF to get that information and create your own map um, as well. The other thing too, is if you have wanted to turn on any other layer in the catalog of the Sigma Data Viewer, you can do that as well. And um, they will overlap and there's ways to um, change the transparency with this slider bar and get more information about the layer itself with the little eye icon. You click on that and it'll open up a browser that has information on the different layers that are on the Sigma Data Viewer. So with that, that concludes the tutorial on how to use DWR Sigma Data Viewer for some flood diversion reporting components. Thank you.